A bellows high pressure pilot is used to monitor and control upstream or downstream pressure between 75 and 2500 psi. In a previous video, we showed how to either change the bellows for a different operating pressure or convert from an indirect to a direct acting. In this video, we'll be showing how to install a repair kit for regular maintenance. To begin, make a mark on the pilot so that aligning the components will be easier later during assembly. Next, remove the adjustment bolt with a 916 wrench and remove and discard the washer and packing seal. Turn the pilot upside down and secure it in a vise. Use a 916 wrench to remove the four screws from the body. Separate the lower housing and the main body from the supply body assembly. Unthread and remove the bellows. If it does not come off easily, use a rag for better grip. Remove and discard the o-ring on the bellows. Then remove and discard the o-ring on the main body. Separate the supply body from the bonnet. If the diaphragm plate is stuck on the bonnet, you can remove it now. Use channel locks to remove the diaphragm plates if they are stuck to the supply body. Pull out the seat assembly housing and the stem assembly. You may need to use a screwdriver placed under the diaphragm. While holding the stem assembly, use a 7 8 wrench to remove the diaphragm nut followed by the spacer. Keep both of these pieces for assembly. Remove and discard the diaphragm. Next, while holding the seat housing assembly, use a 7 8 wrench to remove the diaphragm nut followed by the spacer. Keep both of these pieces as well. Use a 9 16 wrench to separate the pilot seat from the seat housing assembly. Discard the pilot seat with the O-ring. Remove and discard the diaphragm. Finally, turn over the supply housing in the vise and use a 916 deep socket to remove and discard the pilot seat, O-ring, and pilot plug and spring. Inspect the bellows for any signs of damage, cracks, or separation on the rings. Clean out both breather plugs thoroughly and clean all housings. Take special care to clean out the port from the supply input to the lower seat as it is easy to overlook and can become blocked. Start the assembly by placing the bonnet into a vise. We didn't remove the spring or spring plates during disassembly, but make sure they are still in place at this point. Add a small amount of grease to the top of the spring plate. Install the 108 spring into the body small end up. Install the 265 o-ring over the 565 seat by rolling it over the threads to not damage it. Insert the 112 pilot plug through the seat small ball first. Holding it by the pilot plug, install the lower seat into the housing by hand and tighten it with a 916 socket. Install the 265 O-ring on the 113 upper seat. Then install the upper seat in the seat housing and tighten with a 916 wrench. Install the 4436 diaphragm onto the seat housing. This diaphragm has a slightly larger outside diameter than the 4447 diaphragm. Install the 4442 diaphragm spacer on top of the diaphragm. Screw on the diaphragm nut with a 7 8 wrench. Place the upper seat assembly over the small ball of the pilot plug. Then place the 4441 SS6 diaphragm plate on top of the diaphragm. Install the 4447 diaphragm over the stem.
followed by the 4432 SS6 spacer ring. Screw on the diaphragm nut with a 7 8 wrench. Holding the supply housing and diaphragm plate together, flip it over and insert the stem into the body. Make sure the diaphragm is properly seated. Place the 4443 SS6 diaphragm plate on top. At this time, this is where you will be determining the action of the pilot, direct or indirect. Set this whole assembly on the bonnet. The words that are upside down will be the action that it is, because you'll be flipping the whole thing over later. Roll the 265 O-ring over the threads of the bellows assembly. Thread the bellows into the lower housing by hand. Install the 802 O-ring over the lower housing. Add a small amount of grease. Install the lower housing on the main body. Push down with your hand and make sure to align the markings and holes. Using your markings, align the bonnet, supply body, and lower housing. The supply and outputs will be aligned with the sensing ports. Replace the screw and bracket and tighten with a crisscross pattern with a 9 16th wrench, evenly distributing pressure as you tighten. Place the new 4491 washer and 4488 packing seal on the adjusting screw. Add a small amount of grease on the end of the adjusting screw where it will contact the spring plate and replace it into the body. This concludes the repair. For questions about parts or repair kits, contact your local Camry store or authorized distributor.